I can only hope they were doing loads and loads of damage to them as they're attacking. Make sure we don't get enveloped down here. It would be difficult for us to be enveloped, because this is where all my motorized units are. And those guys are fast. Alfonso de Mosquito falls ill, and there's the radar. Right, so now I'm going to start researching air doctrines again, because I totally dropped the ball on that. And we can spend air power to get that done quickly. Alright, where is Mosquito? Oh, you're on route right now. You're fine. Alright, let's double check. Naval power. See if there are any more destroyers that need to be added. There aren't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Okay, so I need 32 submarines to bring myself back up to uh, submarine strength. So subs are going to have to be built for a while. Overlap the front line by one province. Oh, for God's sake, again! Ready. Why? Also, hey, Ligel. Um. See, the problem with that is it wastes troops. And this is already one hell of a long line. The other thing I could do is set this up as a army group line, in which case there would never be any lost spaces. The problem is you can't determine where in the army group line the armies are. Right, I'm going to try this. This is probably going to be a disaster, though. Actually, so far so good. And maybe the army group line will keep this coherent. We will need to keep an eye on that, though. Because from my experience, the army group line likes flipping the armies around. So not only do you have little gaps, you have an entire army moving from one side of the line to the other. I remember an allied plane landing on a Soviet airbase and getting interned. Really? Wasn't the Soviets not letting the allies using airbases cannon, though? I actually don't know. Doesn't Greenhorn usually mean newbie? It does, but I'm using the same color scheme as I have on Discord, where Cyan is the new people, and then green is the less new. And then yellow, and then other colors. But it only goes up to yellow on Twitch. Because I'm only allowed to go up to yellow on Twitch. Hmm. That was better. Killed four destroyers and five convoys. I think we are slowly getting the upper hand over the Japanese. Nine destroyers, one light cruiser, nine convoys for the cost of one destroyer. So I think the Japanese we are slowly but surely beating, and actually the Dutch... Oh no, that's me. We are actually pushing them off of Java now. I'm gonna say... Don't keep going just yet. Actually, there's only one guy here, that's probably why. Did the Canadians make it? Yeah, they did. Despite the fact that they're sailing past the uh, home islands. And the Americans and the Filipinos are still fighting over the Philippines. Right, so how long until this is possible? That's going to be a while, so we may as well have a focus going in the meantime. And I'm going to continue the naval production because I need to get more destroyers out. I have a couple more. In fact, why are... Why do I have so many big ships here? What are those? Heavy cruisers. Where'd they come from? Oh, some of the... Yeah, okay. I'm kind of okay with it. Right, the other thing I think I'm going to do is double check to see where my air forces are active. Wow, we're being trounced here. We are still losing aircraft. So I think I'm going to pull back... The air support. 
to the English Channel. But we'll leave the bombers bombing. They should only be going by night. By should, I mean, yeah, they really should be. Why aren't you going by night? Night bombing, night bombing. You are going by night. Wow, you are super elite. Yeah, these tactical bombers have been going for a while now. And actually, you, can you be added to this force? No, you're a tactical bomber. All right. <clears throat> the other thing I should double check is the state of my radar, which is poor. We could do a lot better. You know what? I think I'm going to add one to the Highlands too. And let's get those done as a matter of some priority. And the same with Malta. Unfortunately, I can't upgrade those because I don't own you. Not yet, anyway. I need 200 political power to integrate Malaya. And I think I will. I need access to their resources. So we're going to cancel that again. Port strike results. Port strike? Oh, against... Wow, that was a bad port strike, port strike for the Americans. Crikey. A battleship, two heavy cruisers, a light cruiser and a destroyer. Uh, is there an airbase here? Nope. You're on your own. <clears throat> oh, and also, my navy. Uh, how do I do it? Control click. You're banned from using that port. It's a, it's a terrible place. Still losing convoys badly. How did the German submarine suddenly become so much more successful? Because I moved half of my destroyer fleet away. I know what the answer is. It's a silly question. Alright. I think what I'm going to have to do is reprioritize these. going to prioritize the Frogger Pirates until we've got the destroyers we need, then we're going to start rebuilding the other ships. And ships are going to be prioritized over everything else. Because that means they get the first resources. Uh, these are going to be the least prioritized. Motorized support there. Yeah, that's good. All right, so let's re-expand all of those and make sure the Frogger Pirates are at the top. And as much as I want to get my old Greys out, they're going to have to wait. Because we need those freaking destroyers. Hold on like that for now. Alright, more research. Can I do another air doctrine at the same time? I can. Just two though. Um, right, what else do we need? Resource extraction. 
How are we doing for fuel? Let's get some more fuel efficiency. Looks like the Americans are preparing in Africa. It kind of does, doesn't it? That's nice. Preparing for what? <laughs> We've already taken Africa. The Africa War was won. Another light cruiser, another seven destroyers. Yeah, we are definitely... Moving my destroyers over to this side has helped me against the Japanese, but it now means that I'm losing towards the Germans. These units are... Oh, I can get... No, no. <laughs> Don't get tempted. I, I need those points for other things. Turn on Allied planning for a moment, see what they're doing. They are planning an invasion of Spain. And of Germany. And of Italy. Alright, fair enough. If you can bring the ships together to do that, then go for it. Four convoys. How is Japan doing for ships? goes the Philippines. They still have 220-ish ships, 500 convoys. We have 800 convoys. So actually the majority of my convoys are being tied up by trade and supply. It's not the necessary... well there are a lot being sunk. You know, I usually like having about 500 in surplus just in case. And navy-wise we're actually almost on par now. So we have sunk about a hundred more Japanese ships than we've lost. I would say that was pretty good going. Philippines leader offers service. Oh, you can actually click. Oh, you can click on him and then see how good he is. So he's a cavalry leader, so he's a motorized. He's a defensive motorized. With logistics. I'm going to give you combined arms expert because that is a good combo. Uh, how are we doing here right now? Because Montanac's an attacker, I think I might actually bring New Philippines dude into this line because we are trying to resist the Germans right now. Where is he? Unless the Americans have pinched him. There he is. He's a cavalry officer, which means he gains from motorized. Yeah, he's a really good choice, actually. Defensive motorized. I like it. These are actually motorized, not tanks. They just have a lot of tanks in them. Oh crap, they've broken through here. Uh, okay. Let's go! So, you lot need to force march up here. Another Filipino leader. We have got Commando. 2433. Three. He's also pretty good. Okay, that's pretty nice. Power Trooper, Supply Grace, 240 hours. You know what, I'm going to take that because I don't have any Power Trooper commanders. Now I do. And that defensive is going to be really strong for you. Because you can power drop in, take a territory, and then because of your good supply and your Power Trooper ability means that you can hold that position until reinforcements arrive for longer. Good combo. Alright, I want another line. Actually, no I don't. I want... Planes. Planes. Keep building me my Spitfires. So that is going to require me to import more aluminium. Ready. And another one. 
Another motorized, although this guy's an infantry leader, so he's not as useful. Fight is not over yet. I think you can surround that Japanese soldier and kill it. I mean, that's kind of what I was going to try and do. But I've realized that these units are so weak that if they're not all defending the same spot, then they're likely to die. But then we can do this. That's what I was hoping to do, was hit him from multiple action, uh, directions. Once we've taken Madan, they've got one port left. But at that point, I can start really bringing in my island defenders. All in. Well, they should be redeploying troops over there anyway. Yeah, I would say that the majority of the Canadians actually made it over. That's really good. I was a little bit worried when they started parthing beside the uh, Japanese home islands. There we go, we took it. Attention! Two men survived. Yeah, that's a problem. Well, it does mean that India's going to have an absolute boatload of manpower for me when we do take it. Because we haven't actually used much of it. So we need 200. 300. Ugh. Those are expensive. I'm trying to get Malaya because I want Malaya's resources. Plus this is the final step for Malaya, so they will be in annexed when we do it. Ooh, we have some more ships. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and we have some submarines trained up. Excellent. So my own submarine fleets can start getting a couple of reinforcements in. Except they've all gone into that first unit. I kind of wish they'd go into these before they die. How are we doing? Germany's now lost 3.2 million, so we are killing more of the Germans than we were before. We've killed almost as many of the Germans as the Soviets have. Oh, what are you doing, Stalin? Stop shooting your own men, start shooting the Germans. Convoy interdiction, yes please. Makes my own subs better. Yeah, I had to abandon this part of the Baltics, which is kind of annoying, because that was actually my best unit. Although, back here, we've actually got better supply than we had down here. <clears throat> but I've got to say, Jacobus Carstens is doing a great job so far. Level 4, and he's probably leveling up very quickly, too. getting any terrain traits though what why we've just been fighting for absolutely ages in the forest and over a river you should have got engineer and ranger I don't understand why you're not gaining experience for that because you definitely should be. Oh, I wonder if exiles don't. 
this one up. Kind of looks like they don't, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, Klaus definitely should have some too, because he basically took Africa. Exiles don't get terrain skill. Okay, that's a bug. Add that to my list. <coughs> Exile leaders definitely get experience because Jacobus is getting experience towards the next level. So we're just going to him. I want to see his details from here. Rather than constantly having to find him. Yeah, because he is getting experience towards the next level. He's just not, in, not getting terrain trades. Hmm. Wow, four divisions from the Philippines. That's quite a few. Oh, uh, plus the Portuguese here. We should have been in training. Sorry, guys. Ah, the Marines are ready. Okay, so where do we want the Marines to be active? I mean, we could actually send them to Russia to get them some experience. It's a good place to get defensive experience. Though actually, I don't know, some of these are getting quite a lot. Some of them, not so much. Them back, sir. Nah, they need to be in Indonesia, really. Ready to move. Okay, so you need a invader trait. Now, is there a terrain trait for... Winter Specialist. Hmm. There is no Invader ability. Jesus, thank you very much for the follow. And Dane Stowe Shop, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I have some Mediterranean islands that need to train like Crete and Sicily. True. Yeah, I think I need to start island jumping over here, though I'm not convinced I necessarily have the navy to support them. Well, in the Mediterranean I do. Uh, okay, they've landed quite a significant force here. You are just massively over... Not massively. I mean, you could definitely do with some more troops. Yes, sir! What is the subs? Speaking of subs, are there any more that can be upgraded? I mean, sent to the reserves? Yes. <clears throat> so yeah, the marines do need to go over to the uh, Indonesia. Let's go and give you a new crest. And a commander. See, we did have an exile commander who would have been good for you. Because the British commanders kind of suck in terms of naval power. We have one commando. Do we have any naval invaders? I'm not sure we do. Those are all the exiles, and then here are the Brits. No. Exile commander would definitely work best. So Grabowski is reckless, an invader. These bloody icons keep screwing up. 
He's an exiled leader. He doesn't actually have anything there. You're just a commando. Media personality. That doesn't really help. Oh, here we go. Kowalski. That was it. Invader. Brilliant strategist. Or the Portuguese guy. Was it the Fil No, it was the Filipino guy. Infantry officer. Invader. Trying to find the Portuguese commanders now. Where are they? Uh, the flags are messed up, aren't they? I don't seem to have any Portuguese commanders. How are these icons messing up? This is really bizarre. And Grabowski is definitely Polish, not Danish. I'm relatively convinced that he's a Dane. Uh, sorry, he's a Pole. And Urbino Dias is Portuguese, not Filipino. And yeah, he was the one. Oh, and you can get Amphibious. Marine Supply Grace or Shore Bombardment Bonus. I'm going to take the shore bombardment bonus because that weakens the opponent. Right, the supply grace is nice. But that's only if you're attacking something where you're cut off. I usually go for ports. So we're going to do that. It's too bad that you can't get another one. And then you are going to be in the Southeast Asia command group. Uh, you two are going to be given to the island force. And then you be added to Monty's army. Uh, is there a safe way of getting you there? I don't think so. I think we just need to kind of go for it. Make your way to Palembang. <coughs> Yeah, that is another one. Exile, leader, trait, icons keep switching around, including nationality icon. Catching so many bugs, where's my repellent? It does seem to be worse today. I mean, that one is one that's been con consistently around. Maybe I'm just starting to dig deeper. Ooh, we sank two light cruisers and two destroyers. That's good. I really need to get more destroyers built. How are we doing for trade now? Okay, we're actually getting quite a lot of stuff through. We'll stop buying from India. Streamline line. Okay. I think we're going to get excavation. Well, it's 1943. Are there any 43 techs that I need? Like, you know, night vision. Probably useful. Another Japanese sub sunk. Good. Yeah, getting proper coverage out here has definitely helped. God, my internet's so bad it hurts. France needs to get with the times. <laughs> Britain's internet isn't much better. Someone needs to get me Hearts of Iron 4 source code and a remote debugger or turn the stream from game to game dev in no time. For a second there, I thought I'd forgotten to put tea bags in the teapot. But no, we haven't had that problem. Communists relent. Wait, 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 wait. Due to the Soviet Union and ourselves being at war with a common enemy, they seem to have toned down support of our domestic communist parties. I had Comintern influence? Oh, I did have Comintern influence. 
That's very nice of you to have stopped that. Didn't even notice. 